So Donald Trump has won the Florida Republican presidential primary, but not without some competition from the candidates who already dropped out. Election results will scroll at the bottom of your screen throughout this newscast. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gatz, and those results are also available right now on ClickOrlando.com. So let's take a quick look at the winners in some of the biggest races today. Former President Donald Trump won the Republican presidential preference primary, but former rivals Nikki Haley and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis also picked up a sizable number of votes. That's right. Winter Park Commissioner Sheila DeCicio easily beat Michael Cameron to become the city's next mayor. She will be Winter Park's first ever female mayor. Oakland also picked a new mayor tonight. He's Shane Taylor. He defeated town commissioner Salvador Ramos. Commission seat two in Winter Garden and commission seat two in Winter Park will go on to a runoff election on April 16th. And two more big elections this year. There's a primary August 20th where parties will pick their congressional candidates and Democrats will pick a candidate to run against as Senator Rick Scott. The general election, including the presidential race, is on November 5th. Well, between now and then, you can expect to see more and more political signs popping up just about everywhere. But tonight, Kissimmee leaders made a decision to make sure that does not get out of control. New 6 Troy Campbell is in Osceola County tonight. The city says during elections in 2022, the area outside the Civic Center was filled with large four by four campaign signs mounted into the ground. They say not only did this cause an eyesore, but it also cost taxpayer money to repair the damage. Now the city has passed new rules to make sure none of these political signs are bigger than this one. Do I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries four to zero. Thank you. Good job, Craig. The Kissimmee City Commission approving a draft policy to impose new rules for political campaign signs at the city owned Civic Center. According to the city, the signs have also damaged sprinkler systems and landscaping. These are large mounted political signs posted elsewhere that are similar to the problem signs in Kissimmee. In the new draft policy, the signs would be half the size of the current problem posters, setting a limit of two feet by two feet. Vehicles with campaign signs also will no longer be permitted to take up multiple parking spaces near the voting location. Why is it so important that even the visuals outside the Civic Center are welcoming to the residents to go in and vote? Well, of course you want everybody to vote and you know go out and, and do that right to vote and cast your vote. But um, again, we always strive to make Kissimmee the best place to live and work in Central Florida, and this is just one little bit that we can do to ensure that. Kissimmee's Developmental Services Director Craig Holland says the new policy will now be sent to all current office holders and candidates. He also hopes it reduces the amount of confusion candidates might have. There was also a note on there how like city staff, their valuable time was being taken to take complaints that might not exactly be warranted. It might have other right. political motivation. So this would seem to be a more objective. Right. So we, we occasionally get complaints. Um, you know, everybody's very passionate about their candidate or their ballot issue, and it's a very competitive. In Kissimmee, Troy Campbell, Getting Results News 6.